Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back with some more World of Tanks. Starting things out with the Tiger today. And I just realized I've forgotten to load up my Jimbo's Crosshair mod once again. What's up, Leopard? Thanks for cutting in front of me like that. Alright, so we're going to head into the town here. From... The east side, I think, just because it seems we're a little light over here. And perhaps we can hold it down a bit. Uh, we might have another heavy coming to assist T29. That would be nice. I notice a lot of people like to actually hang out in the, the woods over here. I don't usually do that, but considering that this is more of a sniper heavy... It might not be a bad idea just to start out. And I didn't mean to knock those trees down, but whatever. Alright, so we've got uh, buildings up front. I'm actually going to roll down through here. And see if I can get some eyes since we have units up front taking some of the pressure off. Really don't have a good shot on this guy. There we go. It's one. And he's done via friendly. Alright, uh, teams two and two. We've got an IS up front. Only have a turret to shoot at. That's going to bounce. What we're going to want to do, though, is grab a little bit more cover while we reload here. Try to angle our armor a little bit too, but obviously the frontal armor on the Tiger is not amazing. That, I'm not sure where that went. I didn't give it time to aim because I thought he was on the move. Shot out, I think I hit uh, a wall or something there. Maybe part of the fence, I don't know. Could go for a blind shot, but not too sure if he's moved or not. Our team is taking a beating. We're going to need to try to push in a little bit here. Let's, let's follow up with this uh, T-29 and not hit this building. We'll try to back him up a little bit. He's taking fire now. Try to turn into some cover here. Uh, Alright, there's another T-29. I don't think I have anything to shoot at really though. Coventer. Don't know where that shot went. Apparently I don't have a shot. A little worried about that IS that's still over there, but the T-29 is watching that section. Twenty-five twos taking a beating over there. T twenty-nine still on the other side. Yeah. Well, I mean, score's not amazing, but while that twenty-nine takes a beating, I'm gonna try to come around through this side uh, and see what we're dealing with here. There's that T twenty-nine, which. I can't really see very well, and he knows that I'm here now. T29 on our side is getting tagged. This looks like a nice little loss here. I would assume that enemy T29 is going to come on through. Maybe I should have backed this guy up. I don't know. We can take this guy with us. I don't know. He's going to back out. And then there's the IS still over here. Which we can try to put some hurt on him. And there's the fire from the rear via tank destroyer, I believe. Let's take this IS with us. Some side scraping, perhaps. Dang, Hellcat and a T-21. I wonder if I can... Come on, gun, turn around. 
Darn it. I was going to try to take the 21 out because he had less hit points. Well, that didn't work out. Yeah, I just got overwhelmed there. Uh, if we do a post-game analysis of that... A um, couple of things I could have done differently. A, I could have stayed in the back a bit more if we take a look at the minimap, perhaps. Maintained a sniper overwatch. That way, once they do finally come in, uh, we stay invisible and we just continue to fire upon them. Other thing we could have done is reinforced the stronger side. Um, but I chose to go where we had less units because, well, it typically makes sense to have an even spread. But it just didn't work out from the very beginning um, there. We just started taking some losses. We started catching up a little bit. Uh, and uh, as, as far as myself, I, I really just didn't contribute enough, uh, you know, early on in the game. And that, of course, can... Uh, cause a problem when you're one of the heavy tanks. Um, it, it's it's interesting with this one because it's another heavy that has to play like a sniper. The armor, even angled at the front, just isn't that great. So you can't really even, even go hull down because higher caliber guns are going to pen through the uh, the gun mantlet as well. So it's it's tough. But um, you know, with that, I kind of want to do another one with the tiger. See if we can. Play around a bit more with it. Um, I'm I'm wondering if this is a tank that I would keep. Um, I do like to collect certain tanks within the game, just keep them in the garage or whatnot, just because you know they're classic. But since they don't work as they did in you know World War II or, or other famous wars and battles, um, they're not necessarily keepers. Uh, just because sometimes they're so bad that it's not even worth the garage slot or or the you know the credits that you could get for for selling it. So sometimes I tend to get rid of them. Uh, you know I'm not in a rush to get out of this tank. I'm not in a rush to grab the Tiger II. Uh, obviously we see a lot of Tigers in the game. Um, I know the Tiger II is actually. From what I can tell, just, you know, fighting it and the the minimal usage uh, in beta, you know, obviously a lot has changed since then. But, um, you know, Tiger II is still pretty beefy tank and manages to get the job done, especially when I'm fighting against it. But um, Tiger I, eh, you know, again, a lot of people grab this thing thinking... You know, oh, it's a tiger. It's it's going to be good. And then then they realize, oh wait, this isn't a a World War II reenactment. This is a World of Tanks, and things are different. So it's hard to say. I'm not sure that I necessarily want to keep this thing. Um, I do like you know long range engagements, sniping, and it is good at that. But it is also map dependent. If there's not a map that's going to allow you to play like that, then you can get into some trouble. But I could say the same thing for my, uh, wow, I think that's almost the most stuck I've ever been. Uh, I could almost say the same thing for my Centurions. They're sniper tanks, and, and if the map doesn't, you know, suit them, then you're in trouble. All right, we're already taking some damage here on a SU-122. Type 58. Black Prince is actually a tough customer. I own one of them, so I know what their armor's about. Alright, one target down. We want to be careful in case somebody comes through there, like late. Another Tiger sighted. Uh, I don't really have a shot on him. There we go. I'm not sure. That may have went into his turret. I don't know. Now we've lost... Co well, uh, yeah, I think we've lost... Eyes, and I believe we might have somebody come around. Oh, Artie. Black Prince sighted. But really bad angles to shoot at. And then we've got a uh, E2 Sherman popping through there. That shot just blanked out. I don't know where that went. 
All right, E2. He's tough from the front, but we actually managed to get through there. Um, in some cases, his armor... Uh, he backed off in time. He's going to play peekaboo, and he's got a better location than I do right now. He's got an angle with some cover, and there just happens to be some nice debris. I got to get out of here. This rubble is causing me so much freaking trouble. That was annoying. That was really annoying. My driver's out as well. I'm going to bring him back because I can't stand an immobile tank. Wow, I am just having so much trouble with terrain on this map today. All right, I'm going to go back through this way. This might give the E2 a route towards my flank. But we are winning this game, so I'm going to try to come up here and maybe do some good. I don't know. All right. He's down. Hit on the tiger. Wait for that reload. Perhaps we can finish him off. He's down. There's the Black Prince. Uh, hopefully he'll hit the side of my hull and it'll bounce. Like that, exactly. That's a side scrape. But he's backed off now. He knows. Uh, we still got to worry about that Jumbo Sherman, though. Uh, we don't have... Well, we've got a Tiger back here. There he is. Once again, what I'm going to do is try to grab a side scrape. See? Two successful side scrapes there. Again, that's when the round hits the side of my armor, and it's... It, such an angle that it uh, creates a bounce. There we go. And T29 and a Hummel. So we're going to go through. That's the best way that I know to play the Tiger. You want to use that flat side armor at an extreme angle to the point where nothing can pen it. Even extremely high caliber guns. Uh, you don't want to use the front armor. That's not going to help you. But this was a good example of being very patient. I messed up a couple times because I, I kept running into terrain that uh, was just uh, flat out getting me stuck. <laughs> So, I did manage to back out and eventually just come around instead of trying to deal with the Sherman head-on, thereby flanking the Tiger, as well as kind of surprising the Black Prince a little bit. There's nothing wrong with retreating once in a while. Now, I don't know where this T-29's at, though. He's got a kill. And we didn't see him in the city. They're saying he's in the valley. Sounds about right. We've got one man in the valley. I'm assuming that if the guy at Foxtrot 2 doesn't see him yet, then he could be coming back to base. Yep, there he is. There we go. 277. He needs one more hit and he's done. Waiting on that reload. And he's done. Darn it. That would have been nice to have that kill, but... I will take this one. was a little worried there for a bit just because um, I kept getting stuck on terrain, which doesn't happen often, for me at least, but that's that. So, not bad there. Again, that was a good example of how to, to angle the tank to get the shots to bounce off of this. You know, because when you have this angled or anything, it's not, but this is, it's so flat 
and it's such an obvious target that most people are always going to aim for this here. And ideally, you have a building in front of the hull, something to cover this up so that they have no choice but to shoot at this, and it just bounces. And that's exactly what happened in the last game. I didn't necessarily have cover on my front, but I was able to angle the tank to the point where all they could shoot at was the side. You know, a smart enemy is going to think about what you're doing. They're going to try to track you, get around you, or aim for other weak spots. Um, but in that case, it looks like it, it paid off. And, you know, you make your own luck, so there's that. Okay, uh, with that said, let's do one more battle. You know what? I'm going to tiger it up again. Let's do it. Three games with the tiger, and we're top tier here, so should be interesting. They've got the tiger P, which uh, a lot of people actually prefer. That tiger P, I believe, has some insanely thick frontal armor, uh, which is def uh, definitely the opposite of what this guy's got. And, okay, so we have, all right, so we'll have to see how many we can get here. You know, typically with this map, it's the same old thing. Uh, most people on this side end up going into Sherwood Forest, and that's what I call it at least, and hanging out, trying to get some kills. Then after they do that, they will then move through here, flank around, or, or fall back through the middle or uh, the rear flank and come about again. So we'll see what happens. Uh, typically, I I do like spending some time in the forest, but it depends on how many people go that route. If too many go into there, then I'm going to want to spread, uh, have the team try to spread out a bit. But you can see that most everybody has gone into the forest right now. And, uh, yeah, so... We've got some guys going this way, too, to back us up, so that should be fine. Uh, they've got a scout now. They're going to see that there's a large part of our team within the forest. And we just lost an M4 right off the bat to a Hellcat. And they destroyed the Crusader. We'll try to just uh, maintain some hill cover over here. One and one so far. I'm the only heavy on this side. Uh, let's see, KV-2, Tiger P for some of their big boys. There's their easy eight. I really miss my Jimbo's Crosshair mod. I gotta reinstall that thing. I just keep forgetting. There's the Lynx. Which has been tiered up. Boom! Somebody else killed him, but uh, I helped with that. That was a major assist. KV-2. Alright, let's see what we've got here. Going for some blind fire there. Throw another one out for good measure. He's trying to return fire, it looks like. Churchill and KV-2. We've got our scout. Ah, fired late on that one. Probably lit at this point, though. Okay, we've got a scout in the back there who should be dead soon, hopefully. Lynx is trying to light up some targets. And I've got green, but no silhouette. Alright. That didn't work out. I can't tell. He might have uh, 
that Churchill carcass in front of him, which is why I was getting some green. Uh, Tiger P, I think, is... Yeah, he's taking fire, but he's all the way by the forest, so... All right. KV2, and we're going to start pushing up now. Because there's nothing really to snipe at this point in time. Uh, Dicker Max. They're kind of spread out here. What do we have? Eyes on any of this? SU-85. Boom. Let's see, he's got... Does he have eyes on us now? I don't have gun depression. Okay. Now, what do we got? Dicker Max T1 Heavy and Stug. Nothing that I'm afraid of. T1 Heavy, this route. We know that Dicker Max is on the other side. He's on us. And not happening. He's just maintaining his... You know, hit, look at... Classic mistake with a T1 Heavy. Just exposing that entire side. That thing is the size of a barn. And you don't want to do that. That tank is all about its front armor, and even then, it's not super amazing, but... Alright, Dicker Max is still alive. He's over here somewhere. Uh, the Stug... Uh, he's dead. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and be... There we go. I just wanted to light this guy up. Ugh! Pulled up just in time. Darn it. I could have taken the shot, but I wanted to wait for my crosshair a little bit more. I think there's just times where you just got to do it, just because uh, you're either going to get lucky and, and hit or not. So not the most amazing games or all that exciting, perhaps. But, uh, you know, again, as I always say, a win is a win, and especially one where you stay alive. Uh, you know, works for me. I'll take it to the bank each and every time. So... Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you on the next one.